This is all about how to do LinkedIn ads for a client. Like how do you do it for a client or an employer? This is what we're gonna be covering today. And it's gonna we're gonna go through the rapid fire testing system that I do for every client. And the reason why you might wanna, if you're not already doing this for a client or you're not urgently going, shit, how do I do this for my client? Or how do I do this for a, um, you know, I've told my employer that I know what I'm doing, let's figure it out, then this is the video for you. But if you're just considering to become a LinkedIn ads pro, it's definitely worth, you know, a shot because freelance, LinkedIn ad freelancers are in huge demand at the moment. More and more people are wanting LinkedIn ads. It's just about knowing what you want. And basically, if you haven't already, check out my LinkedIn ads, totally free, targeting like a pro course down in the link below. Check that out, totally free. Or if you're actually ready, I have a full blown course on LinkedIn ads called LinkedIn ads course, beginner to pro, where I go through deep on LinkedIn ads. And what I'm gonna be adding over the next couple months is not only how to do LinkedIn ads really, really well, but it's gonna go into this, what I'm talking about in this video, which is my process of dealing with clients. It's gonna have some project management stuff. It's gonna go into how much you should be charging and it should it will be going into who specifically we should be targeting to get as leads to become clients of ours. So it's gonna be a full more holistic understanding, not just about how to do LinkedIn ads really well. I'm gonna add all this other element. So definitely check it out. Get the price now that it is at the moment. I'm gonna put a coupon on the link and the first few people, I haven't decided how many yet, but the first few people who click on it and buy the course will get this coupon. So I'm only gonna add a few coupons, maybe five or something like that. So definitely get the course if you're ready to become a LinkedIn Ads Pro or to do it really, really well. And that coupon is gonna be 50% off. It's gonna be a big coupon for the next first few buyers. So let's just dive in. So generally speaking, everything's based around this uh, project management doc. I give every client that comes in is based around this project management doc. And basically it just gives them a very clear outline, but also gives me or whoever's doing the LinkedIn ads for the client, um, say a freelancer or someone I've hired, just a clear framework to know, okay, just to project manage everything. So clients can be really difficult and really demanding, but having everything on paper is the first thing I'd recommend. And I think I'm gonna turn this into a template. So check out in the description below. I'll give a free template so you can just download it. But basically this is the thing I make all my, even large clients or low clients, this is what they have. And this is gonna represent what happens in the platform. So we've got deliverables, we, got, we go over the full targeting research over here. Um, and goes into like, uh, we do all this research beforehand. We go campaign structure. So this is the actually the stuff that we put in here first. Then we go into LinkedIn and input it all because we want to keep it all clear and design it all really well. And then we have, you know, the pages to be retargeting just so we have it all clearly there rather than in random emails and random places. And we have ad copy and the ad creative. So basically LinkedIn ads, the first thing they, what happens when a signed contract comes in, I get them to pay and I get them to fill out this onboarding questions, which basically gives me a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll put this as a template below as well, but I get the company domain already, this kind of stuff I have, but I want them to fill it out for themselves so I can always refer back to it. And if anything goes wrong, I can go, well, that's actually what you put in the thing. And if you're dealing with many clients, sometimes you kind of start forgetting or getting mixed up with which client is targeting what, because they're all kind of similar. So you can just refer back to this, which I found to be really helpful. So you have the, you know, what's your ICP, what size of the company, what's your job titles you're targeting, you know, this kind of stuff. So it goes through all these different questions um, here. So basically all the campaigns that come through me, I charge quite a bit of money. I might make another video about this or it's gonna be all in the course, so check out the course. Um, but basically, I will be targeting, you know, for example, I'll have a new B2B SaaS company. My ICP is mainly B2B SaaS, uh, normally post series A at least. And basically what they'll be doing is they will be, I'll be doing the same uh, structure for them at, or for any client. It's very, so I've systemized exactly how we do with these clients. So I'm gonna be putting this all in the course, the exact systems I use. And I believe I'm gonna be raising the price of the course, so definitely check it out before or check out the 50% coupon. But basically it's, this is the kind of system I go through with everyone, which is three step system. And it's called rapid fire test. LinkedIn adds the LinkedIn rapid fire testing system is something that I've created kind of already existed before on other platforms, mainly Facebook, kind of in niche circles 
within Facebook, but I've taken this methodology and applied it to LinkedIn and just taken everything I learned over the years to create it into a really clear structure so my freelancers or someone I'm training can just follow this structure or that even I can systemize my process so I can scale my services. So as a LinkedIn ads guy, I don't want to be like always doing these custom stuff all the time. Generally speaking, because I focus on such a clear ICP, they generally need a similar kind of thing every single time. So there might be some customization, but it's very highly systemized. And a rapid fire test basically goes through, so this is just my um, my own ads, just because I don't want to show my client ads, but basically a rapid fire test goes over three different steps. The first step, let me get my face more in the middle. The first step is where we keep people on the platform and we utilize lead generation forms. So basically there are two main strategies and there are three things that happen. There's keep people on the platform, off from the platform, we're talking about landing pages, and then we have retargeting. So we have like, okay, how do we do retargeting? Maybe we do omni-channel retargeting or, and the follow-up system and sales stuff happens later. But the step rapid fire test number one, which happens over about a month period, well, there's even a step before that, which is a setup stage. Sorry to forget this, but the setup stage sets up everything for the rapid fire test. So we're talking about creating a bunch of different creatives, we're discussing with the client the different kind of communications. We're creating copy. We're designing the rapid fire test. Okay, what is, you know, what kind of things we want to do? So we set it all up. We set up all the pixels. We set up, you know, the inside tag. We make sure that any retargeting platforms are ready to go. Say Facebook, Google Display Network, for example. We set up all this different stuff. We also have to set up, you know, if we go up to account, account assets. So we have all the conversion tracking, we need to set up the matched audiences, we need to set up any lead gen forms. All of this happens right in month one. And I charge a setup fee just for the setup before even my retainer starts. So if you wanna learn more about that, definitely check out my course. But once we set everything up, month one starts. And in month one, we're just doing lead generation forms. We're doing all everything based around, <coughs> excuse me. So once the setup is complete, in month one, we're just doing everything around LinkedIn ads on the platform. So this is, we're talking about lead generation forms, maybe conversation ads, but I think that goes a bit advanced. I generally use conversation ads as a retargeting. So that'll come in rapid fire test free. So we're basically basing everything about lead gen forms. And the reason is, because when we're working on the platform, we already have so many elements, so many factors to take into consideration that we don't want to be taking extra stuff, which is really complicated, which is, you know, landing pages and that kind of stuff. So we're just trying to limit the amount of learnings we can make and just get a really good foundation benchmark in month one. And what that means is, for example, we'll be testing creative, we'll be testing copy, we'll be testing messaging, offers, you know, what kind of gated content offer or is it a straight ask for a demo or sales call? Are we trying to do like a masterclass or are we doing a, you know, uh, some kind of PDF gated content? Testing all of these different elements. Then we're also testing on the campaign level different targeting types and optimizations and objectives and bidding. All of that happens in month one. So this is where the foundations are created. And that's rapid fire test number one. Month one is that. Month two, rapid fire test number two happens is what happens is we build off from that. So at this point we know, okay, what's working, what's not, and we optimize based on that. Okay, we know this creative is working. Let's shut up, shut off all the ones that aren't working. And let's build from, uh, try to analyze why this one's working and build out more creatives and more copy an iteration of the ones that are working and start testing those. Okay, we know this targeting is working and this targeting is not working, so we can optimize and build from that. Then the big thing that happens in month number two is landing pages. We're trying to basically take everything we learned from on the platform stuff to take to there. So we don't, we already know kind of the offer that's working on the platform. We already know, you know, the stuff. Uh, the messaging that's working on the platform. So how about we take that and put it into the landing pages? So let's try that messaging on the landing pages. And normally we should have at least one landing page to test, but I'd recommend two, three, four landing pages just to really get the landing pages done. Because the master funnel is sending people a lot of traffic, erotic, high quality traffic off from the platform. So we're sending a ton of traffic to a gated content you know, opt-in page basically. So we're trying to get leads on this. And the reason why this works better than say just lead gen forms is because we're now creating a lot more brand awareness. We're having a more of an impact on our 
leads because they're seeing our branding, they're seeing my face, they're seeing whatever, and they're downloading the PDF. So they're going to remember us more. And the second reason why this works better than just keeping people on the platform, but it's way harder to crack, but it's something that we will be doing for our clients because this is like a master, master uh, strategy that works really, really well is that not only do, when we when someone signs up to this, we take control. We don't actually give them the gated content. We say thanks a lot. That's coming in your email box. When they click submit, they get redirected to a sales page, and this is my sales page. So suddenly they're like, okay, they went to sign up to this gated content. At the top, it should say your gated content is on its way to your email box. But before you leave, how about do a free LinkedIn ads t- uh, audit? So you have an offer on your sales page, which is how about do something cool? How about do something, you know, a good, you know, action, schedule a call or do a demo or do a free trial. So you're getting traffic from from a high amount of traffic because we can scale this from LinkedIn. We're sending them to an opt-in page, getting leads. And then some of those people are going to kind of we're going to then redirect them to the sales page and some of those people are actually going to convert into actions which is what we really really want we want the action and this is all done back end and we're just going to get scheduled phone calls for our client or for ourselves totally on autopilot and it's an amazing magical system when you can crack it and your client will literally be giving you a massive hug but this is not easy it's really hard to crack um so yeah that's rapid test number two sending off from the platform so rapid fire test number three is all about sending is all about retargeting. Should we just retarget on LinkedIn? I would say no. And this might be a bit difficult for people who are just trying to learn LinkedIn ads. But generally speaking, LinkedIn ads is not the best retargeting platform because people spend a lot less time on it. So I would retarget on Facebook and then sometimes really get advanced and even on a Google Display Network. But you want to get quite aggressive with retargeting. So we're getting these amazing, high quality, cold you know, leads coming in. And we want to make sure we're appearing everywhere omni channel and another thing which goes probably beyond your scope beyond what you get charged for but you can also upsell this as a service is follow-up email sequences like people with b2b especially people doing linkedin sales cycles are really long so you need to have longer follow-up email sequences and you need to be mixing sales-led emails with marketing-led emails so you could be you know designing those emails and selling just the follow-up email sequence as a service for a few thousand because they really should be long they should be really high quality and each email takes a lot of effort so you can sell that as a really big service actually just to follow up email sequence as well as your linkedin ad stuff and then you can upsell also paid social like facebook retargeting with google display network um so yeah that's the three step system that i recommend if you really want to get more deep on linkedin definitely check out this course uh, there's a link in the description below or in the meantime you can just sign up to my free LinkedIn ads mastery titling like a pro course link in the description below